Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to install custom Minecraft maps in Minecraft 1.14.3. This is 1.14 on the screen, but this is for 1.14.3 and I can't add the video for 1.14.3 here until this video is recorded. Anyway, what I'm telling you is this is fully for Minecraft 1.14.3. I'm also going to show you how to play older 1.14 maps. Let's say a map isn't updated for Minecraft 1.14.3, but it is updated for 1.14 or even a 1.14 snapshot. How can you play that in Minecraft 1.14.3. Well, I'm going to show you all of that in this video. First and foremost, though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS picked in Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. So if you're looking for a great Minecraft server, Apex Minecraft Hosting is the way to go. You can even add any of the custom maps that you want to install locally via this video on your Minecraft server if you're hosted with Apex Minecraft hosting. So go check out Apex the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. So nonetheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into it and get our custom map installed. Now, if you don't have a custom Minecraft map yet, you can check out the link in the description down below that will take you here. This is our list of 15 custom maps for Minecraft 1.14. It goes through the entire list here. However, if you do have a custom map, you can go ahead and we'll install that the same way as we're going to install Freaky Parkour. This is the one we're going to be installing today. It's got 114 elements, but it's actually on a 114 snapshot. And the reason is because I want to show you how to update that map. So click there, click the download button over on our site. This green download button here takes you over to Minecraft Maps, where you can scroll down and click there, download Minecraft Map button. It will then go ahead and download in the bottom left. You shouldn't have to keep the file, but if you do, as long as it starts with whatever your map name ends and ends with a .zip, you should be good to go. Additionally, on Mozilla Firefox, it's pulled up in the center of your screen. You may need to save the file in the center of your screen. Now we minimize our browser. On my desktop, I have three key parkour. If this isn't our desktop, no worries. Click the little Windows icon to the top left for me, but it's in the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon in the bottom left of your screen, and type in downloads right like so. You'll then have this downloads folder. Open that up, and Freaky Parkour will be found in here. Now, before we can install this map, we need to get it ready to install. And to do that, you should have a zip file, right click on it, and then click on open. Then once you've opened your folder here, you should have something called Freaky Parkour, or whatever the name of your map is. You should then be able to double click on that. And inside of here, if you immediately see Dim1, Dim-1, and all that stuff, then you're good to go. Go ahead and click like the back arrow in the top left up here, and then drag this to your desktop. However, however, what if you open this up and there's another folder? Well, click on that until you see dim one, dim dash one. Once you see that, click the back button and then drag whatever this folder's name, in my case, Freaky Parkour is, to your desktop. Once this is on your desktop, you can go ahead and delete the file you downloaded. Now, on your desktop here, you have this. You should be able to double click on it and immediately see dim one, dim dash one. There might be some other stuff in here like data, data packs, advancements, all that. That's fine, but you should always have dim one and dim dash one, right? So make sure as soon as you open up the folder, it sees that. If it doesn't, go until it does, click the back arrow, drag that to your desktop until as soon as you open up your folder, you see that information. At this point, we can get it installed. Now just click on the little Windows icon. Again, it's in the top left for me, but the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon, and then type in run, R-U-N. You'll then have this run application, as you can see, run app, click on that, and then in this run application, type percent app data percent. So percent sign app data percent sign, right like so, and hit enter. That will then open up our roaming folder where we then want to go into dot Minecraft, and then you should have a saves folder here. In your saves folder, you should see all of the awesome maps that you currently have in Minecraft. For us, we're just going to take freaky parkour and drag it in to our saves folder here. Boom, right like so. As you can see, Freaky Parkour in our saves folder. Now we want to go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.14.3 in the new Minecraft launcher. What do we think about this Minecraft launcher? Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this new Minecraft launcher here. I don't know if I love it or if I hate it, but we're just going to confirm that we do have latest release 1.14.3. I will say it's a lot cleaner and a lot more modern than the old Minecraft launcher was. But anyway, at this point, I am rambling. And I could be rambling about play.breakdowncraft.com. That is our own grief-protected survival Minecraft server. We've got custom quests, over 25 quests for free players in addition to an incredible survival environment with over 100 players online every single day 
We've also got Custom Skyblock with a great community over there. OP Enchantments is just an awesome, awesome time. So come play with us. Play.BreakdownCraft.com is the IP. But now we can go ahead and click on Single Player here, and in here you will have your World Freaky Parkour. As you can see, there it is. Now, if this is a native 114.3 world, you can go ahead and open it. However, if it's not, go ahead and double click on it, and it'll say, this world it was last played on this version. That's fine. It's okay. Just click, I know what I'm doing, and opening it up. Because guess what? If it does break, if it does fail, just go download it again, right? You don't need to back it up and use that space on your computer. Just go ahead and open the map on up. And if it does break something, you'll be able to just go re-download it. But it won't. And now, as you can see, welcome to Freaky Parkour. We can see this is a map made by Box. And then click here to start the parkour. So you click there, and you're starting with the parkour in 1.14.3. I think we've got some scaffolding blocks there, and just overall some awesome, awesome stuff. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. You now know how to download and install custom maps in Minecraft 1.14.3. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com. And I am out. Peace.